I was ordering some stuff from a little website the other day and I went to check what they have in the tools section. I discovered many awesome items that can be extremely useful in our workshops. I also found a few cool bits online and today I want to show them all to you. Maybe they will inspire you, give you some ideas and alternatives for your workshop. So yeah, let's get started. Tools at Lidl are from brand Parkside and it looks like they are very good quality from my experience and a very decent price point. So I saw a really cool clock on Metalsmith Society page, but it's a little bit too expensive for me. So I, because I really like the concept of this clock that you can see the time as it passes and you can measure your work using this clock, I decided to search for something similar, maybe a little cheaper and see if I can find something locally. And and I was able to find just a regular clock on a website online and the way this clock works is very similar and you twist it here and then you can set it to the time that you want let's say we want to measure 30 minutes and yeah it's a timer it will just count uh, backwards and when it gets to zero it will notify you with a ring and I just really love it because when I use a timer on my phone I actually tend to forget about this and it just counts the time and it counts the time so right now when I work on jewelry I will set this to 30 minutes or one hour and after that's done I will just make a note under the time section when I track my time working on jewelry I will write 30 minutes and then I will write 60 minutes and when I'm done I I will just combine it together and see how much time I actually spend working on something and I think it's a brilliant way to track your time when you're working on jewelry. Another cute little thing I bought is this little box for rings and I got it for pictures so it comes with a little ribbon like this it's attached over here but when you open it I just really love how it looks like inside and that you can put your ring in here and take some really cute photos of it and I just thought it was a really cool addition for photos I think they are amazing this is velvet very soft very pretty there are different colors available and yeah I thought I could give you this idea if you ever thought of that and if not you might want to try that for your photos oh and I found these two albums or like card holders things so that's how it looks like you can open it here and inside as you can see you can sort card in here cards or <laughs> tiny photos <laughs> but I actually bought it for storing my jewelry and I will show you how I do that. So these little compartments are big enough for my jewelry and I thought that this might be a better solution than the box I'm using right now. I like to experiment with different storage options and this looks like it might work because I can flip through but what it offers is that everything inside is stored separately Separately, so it's safe but also it may prevent tarnish even more than the plastic bags I used to store it in in a box so I am very curious to see how this will perform I've got two different sizes and yeah I will let you know later on after I have some time to experiment with this and test it and I'll let you know how that works but I found it to be a very interesting solution so I'm very excited to try it out these are brilliant when I saw this I was just so excited I had to get it so check this out when you open it you've got a very beautiful <laughs> metal box inside excellent quality it's like a mat it just feels so great and when you open it look at that <laughs> so these stand by themselves you can put it on your bench or your desk <laughs> and then you can just fold it and store it away but what is it you might ask well these are punches 
and there are three that are line punches and there's one it's a center punch essentially and there are two where one has a flat end and the other one has slightly indented there's six of them and i was just very excited to buy them for stamping and for adding details and textures onto metal And speaking of inexpensive tools, here's another one. And this, I was looking for something like this for a very long time and I got a very big set, which is, I guess, too big for me, but I'd rather have more and have it for a long time than just get one and need to replace it soon after. I've got these two brass tweezers, which are great. I use them for soldering and then I, when I pick something that I soldered, I use it to dip it in the quenching bowl and then in the pickling solution because this won't contaminate the water. Their ends, they can get damaged over time. So what I needed, because I also use them for like fine work or when I am placing things on my designs, like when I'm working, I need something very precise and these aren't always that. So what I needed were tweezers, <laughs> very precise. And I found this set and these are precise, oh yes. <laughs> and also they are so sharp, so you have to be careful because you can seriously stab yourself with this. Like, this is a weapon, <laughs> trust me. But they are so great, excellent quality, like a very matte, nice texture. There's plenty of them and in different shapes. And they all come, obviously, with these little covers, which is great because that's much safer. And as you can see, they come in this little pouch and you can take it on the go. If ever you would need like a bunch of tweezers to take somewhere with you. <laughs> oh, and <laughs> I got another something that I already have, but I had just one. And this time I bought a set of three because these are different sizes. And this is just a magnetic strip. What is it called? Magnetic tool holder set. <laughs> and there are, yeah, three sizes and you can attach it onto your bench, your desk, like wherever. And it's magnetic, so you can attach your tools to it. I keep my files and my pliers on this, on my bench. And I also will be adding this around my bench for other pliers, for extra bits and bobs, for rotary tool, for some attachments, you know, any metal parts that you want to keep close by. And there's so much space around my bench that I can put it on. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get a few again because you can never have too many of these. They are very, very useful. <laughs> We're back in my room for a second because I want to show you a screen cap of some of the tools that I think are brilliant, but I didn't get them personally. But let me show them to you. So that's all the things I got. <laughs> that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope that maybe some of these things inspired you. Maybe there's something you might want to get and now you know where. <laughs> and if you're interested to see more videos like that, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye!